Why is this officer driving the wrong way down a busy city street? She found an easy way to issue parking tickets. And while it's not illegal, police can drive however they want. Her wrong way driving did get her in trouble. CBS 2 investigator Dave Savini also exposes allegations the officer has been writing bogus tickets, many of them later thrown out. Here's Dave. It's morning rush hour and you are watching a Chicago police officer driving the wrong way down busy streets, driving in the direct path of oncoming motorists, even with no emergency lights and cutting people off without warning. I would get scared. I'd be worried because clearly something's going on of some crazy importance that you need to be going the wrong way. For days we found the same squad being driven this way. Here a bicyclist has to drive around it in the middle of the street. And here, the cop blocks traffic, forcing oncoming motorists to make abrupt lane changes. Excuse me, officer. We want to know why you're blocking a lane of traffic. But Officer Patricia Moran, the cop behind the wheel, isn't chasing a fleeing suspect. She's in pursuit of something else, trying to beat motorists to their parked cars before 7 a.m. so she can quickly write as many street cleaning tickets as possible. School buses were going by you. Trucks had to go in the other lane. Literally no lights, no signal, no nothing. The yeah. wrong way pulls right in front of a car that's just trying to drive. Citizens like Ben Jacoby want to know why no one is stopping Officer Moran from driving this way just to write parking tickets. It's the kind of thing that I would get a ticket for if I was driving my car. I got people complaining in the neighborhood you're driving down the street the wrong way. By driving the wrong way, Officer Moran never even has to get out of her seat. She just reaches out the window. I'm just doing my job. One after another, she tickets cars on door handles while obstructing traffic. Officer Moran, we saw this on uh, Foster and Sheridan. I mean, couldn't you just get out of the car? Wow. It's dangerous and for what, a couple bucks for the city? Jacoby owns this car you are watching Moran ticket on Ashland Avenue. She nailed him for parking during a two hour no parking period for street cleaning. A ticket Jacoby says he never should have gotten. He says he was new to the area just visiting a friend and the pole he parked under didn't even have a no parking sign. And here's the next available sign he could have seen. It's a block away and it's blocked by trees. The brightly colored orange paper street sweeping signs you normally see hanging on poles and trees in other neighborhoods are not hung here on Ashland Avenue, where we found Moran routinely targeting cars like Jacoby's. It adds up. It definitely adds up, especially if you're doing one every 30 seconds. But there's even more to this story. There are a lot of times that I received a ticket that is wrong. Rashid Loomis says Officer Moran wrote him so many tickets it was starting to feel personal. I was thinking that if somebody got something against me because the tickets kept going. I had so much tickets. The CBS 2 investigators found out about Loomis after we obtained records revealing he'd been repeatedly ticketed by the officer. Since 2016, he appealed seven of the parking tickets Moran gave him, and six of them were thrown out including tickets Moran wrote for street cleaning violations, he says, on non-street cleaning days. I fought it because I know I was right, she was wrong. The parking ticket data we obtained also shows Moran tops the list of officers from her district whose parking tickets have been appealed. In fact, citywide since 2016, 9,600 officers have had parking tickets appealed. Moran ranks number two for the most tickets appealed by drivers and the most tickets thrown out by hearing officers. Of her 1,203 parking tickets appealed, 806 of them, more than two-thirds, were tossed out. Are you upset that she was able to do this? Oh, yes, I've been upset for a long time. Loomis says he's seen her drive this way, too, and he's upset she's been able to get away with it. He believes she's the one who should be getting ticketed. We know it's dangerous. Well, who am I to tell the police that you're doing something wrong? At least one person did complain to Moran's superiors at the 20th district and recorded video of her wrong way driving. This one ironically shows a street sweeper had to pull over and wait until Officer Moran got out of the way. Despite that complaint, we found Moran kept doing it until we got involved. Couldn't you just get out of the car? I will, she said as she drove away. So weeks later, we checked back and found she changed her driving ways and now gets out of the squad to safely ticket cars. But the question remains, how many of those tickets will actually stick?
Chicago police say officers are allowed to drive against traffic to hand out parking tickets. However, they reprimanded Moran saying given the traffic congestion and road conditions, better judgment should have been used. Moran has faced ticket related complaints, two for repeatedly giving out bogus tickets and one for giving a motorist the middle finger while writing a parking ticket. CPD has not released details of those cases. As you can see, since we questioned her now, she's on foot, gets mm -hmm. out of the squad, and now puts the ticket in the car. Yep.